Hey guys, today we're taking a look at shutter angle and how it affects your videos when shooting with a high frame rate. Any filmmaker or cinematographer will tell you that when shooting video, you always want to do so with a 180 degree shutter angle. But what does that mean? Well, to achieve this, your shutter speed needs to be the reciprocal of double your frame rate. So if you're shooting 24 frames per second, then your shutter should be 1 48th of a second or 1 50th if your camera doesn't allow for it. At 30 FPS, shutter should be 1 60th of a second and so on. But why do we do this and why is this a thing in motion picture? I've made a video in the past that explains in depth about the importance of shutter speed and the 180 degree shutter angle rule that I'll link at the top here. To make a long story short, it turns out that throughout the years, filmmakers have discovered that a 180 degree shutter angle is what was giving us the most natural and realistic looking motion blur in videos. And you can easily see that in this short video I made for illustrative purposes. If you look to the far right, the motion of the Thunderbolt adapter is quite strange. It almost feels jerky. This is at a 120 degree shutter angle. In the middle, the same shot is recorded with a 360 degree shutter angle. And it might be difficult to tell the difference between this and the one on the far left, but something definitely feels wrong. It appears to have an excessive amount of motion blur. Finally, on the far left, we have the same shot again, but shot with a 180 degree shutter angle. This looks perfect, and the motion blur is just right, such that the subject still remains relatively sharp. So that is the 180 degree shutter angle rule, but that is not what this video is about. I recently did a shoot for a friend of mine under some really challenging lighting conditions, and needed to get a lot of slow motion shots for the B-roll. One thing immediately became apparent. It was very difficult to maintain a 180 degree shutter angle whilst also making sure that the image was properly exposed without a ridiculous ISO. That really got me thinking. The only reason the 180 degree shutter rule came about is due to motion blur in fast moving objects. But what if there are no fast moving objects? And furthermore, what if the video isn't even going to be played back in real time? You see, the thing is, motion blur is only perceived by the human brain when objects are actually moving fast on the screen. I've looked everywhere online for information about this from cinematography forums to film school classes without any luck. So I did a little unscientific experiment to see how shutter angle affects slow motion video. The objective here was to see how far back you can pull your shutter speed without the image looking weird and hence allowing you to shoot slow motion at lower shutter speeds in dark environments. In the first test, we're at 120 frames per second with a 180 degree shutter angle. We are playing back the video at 25% speed or four times slow motion. The video looks just fine. There's a pleasing fluidity that the motion blur gives the image. Upon closer inspection, if we freeze a frame, we can see that the cars are slightly blurry, which is as a result of the motion blur. No issues here. In the second clip, we're at 120 frames per second with a 360 degree shutter angle. This is as low a shutter speed the camera is using would do at this frame rate. The video looks acceptable. My personal judgment would be that there's perhaps a little bit too much motion blur. If you look hard and closely at the moving cars, they seem to be a lot more blurry, making it quite distracting. When we freeze a frame, it's easy to see that there's quite a bit more motion blur than first meets the eye. And I know a lot of you are going to start going crazy about the fact that the vehicles in this test are all moving at different speeds, which is a very true and very valid point. However, as mentioned before, this is not a scientific test. I was simply just trying to gauge the effects of shutter angle in slow motion video and whether or not the 180 degree rule is a big deal. When you look at the two 120 frame shots side by side, it's difficult to tell apart the differences. But from my eye, I found the 360 degree shutter angle shot to be overall weird. The motion blur is a bit much and I found the entire shot to be quite distracting. If I had to shoot at 120 frames per second with a 1 120th of a second shutter speed due to limitations in light, then I probably would because I don't find the two shots to be all that different. Now let's move on to the 60 frames per second shots. Here I have slowed down to 40% speed to give us a little more than two times slow motion. 
the video looks alright when you play it back and it has a good amount of motion blur. When we freeze a frame, it appears we're getting a lot more motion blur than what we're getting at 120 frames per second with a 180 degree shutter angle. I am not entirely sure why that is, but my guess would be that since we have a lot less frames appearing in the image per second, we should be getting more motion blur. So in other words, if a car is moving from one end of the screen to the other, at 60 frames per second, the car covers twice the distance in a single frame that it does at 120 frames per second because we ultimately have half the amount of frames covering the same time period. The other 60 FPS video has a 360 degree shutter angle and just by playing it back, I already don't like it. This is of course playing at the same 40% speed as before, but there's just so much motion blur, it's extremely distracting and I don't think I'll use this shot. Freezing a frame reveals what's obvious, which is that there's way too much motion blur. The cars are almost streaks of light. Okay, so far we've established that even at slow-mo speeds, ranging from four times to about two times slow motion, it seems like the image with the 180 degree shutter angle still looks the most natural. Now there's another test I wanted to conduct. I wanted to see what a 720 degree shutter angle would look like. This is assuming some extremely poor lighting conditions where the only thing left to do would be for you to lower your shutter speed. I did this test only at 60 frames per second because my camera would not do a shutter of 1 60th per second at 120 FPS. From left to right we have 180 degrees, 360 degrees and 720 degrees in shutter angle on the far right. So just to clarify, the shot on the far right has a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second the middle one has 1 60th of a second and on the left 1 1 20th of a second. Straight away we can see that the 720 degree shot is completely off the table. The motion blur is absolutely ridiculous, you can barely make out any of the cars. For some reason the video is also extremely jerky and not fluid at all. This footage would be completely useless. So what have we learned here today? Well, the findings are actually quite interesting. At 120 frames per second, the most ideal shutter angle for slow motion video would be 180 degrees. However, shooting at a shutter speed of 1 240th of a second is just impossible in low light. The 360 degree shutter angle shot wasn't bad at all. To be completely honest, the only reason you'd probably dislike it is if you had a 180 degree shot right next to it to compare to. Personally, if I had to shoot with a 360 degree shutter angle due to lighting constraints, then I definitely would. It's still a very usable shot for slow motion. At 60 frames per second, I'm finding the motion blur in the 360 degree shot to be just a little too much for my liking, and I'll probably never shoot this way. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm definitely interested in finding out what you guys think in the comment section below. My advice would be to only use this shutter angle at this shutter speed when shooting subjects with minimal motion because if not, the resulting motion blur will be pretty funky looking. At a 180 degree shutter angle, everything looks well and fine. We have a little more motion blur than in the 120 FPS shot at the same shutter angle, but it still looks soothingly fluid. So to conclude, if you're shooting slow motion in low light, then yes, you can lower your shutter speed, but only to 360 degrees of shutter angle. Also make sure that your subject is not moving quickly and just try to avoid any situations that would introduce motion blur. Of course, in an ideal world, the best results would be with a traditional 180 degree shutter angle, but this is the real world. And most of us don't shoot in controlled environments like Hollywood filmmakers where lighting can always be manipulated as desired. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video has been useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on notifications for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.